Hello folks, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 will be among the launch lineup of the next-gen RTX 50 Blackwell GPUs which will make a formal debut at CS 2025. So far, the configurations and high-level specs have been revealed. The RTX 5090 in particular looks very enticing compared to the RTX 4090 with 32GB of VRAM and over 21K cores, but these specs have also raised speculation and rumors about a potential price hike and some exaggerated claims. Rumors from earlier this week claimed that NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5090 would cost up to $2,500, while the RTX 5080 would cost over $1,000. These are all guesses and bad ones for good reason. What I can say is that no AIB or partner has been briefed on an official or even an expected price of the next-gen lineup. NVIDIA is in the process of briefing its partners on SKUs, configs and specs, but nothing besides that. In the current time frame, AIBs and partners will see the blueprint provided by NVIDIA and devise their own PCB and cooling solutions, after which the pricing will be finalized, and that's typically close to launch after NVIDIA has come up with its MSRPs. Why the MSRP is important? Well, NVIDIA typically focuses on MSRP models, since that is what its Founders Edition designs are going to be priced at, and the initial reviews have to be based on MSRP models. The non-MSRP models are designs where AIBs and partners can go all out with customers custom PCBs and innovative GPU cooling solutions. From one of the sources deep within a factory base in Taiwan that produces cooling equipment for NVIDIA, we have been told that the green team has at least eight different coolers designed for its reference FE models. We can't say for sure if these are finalized models or prototypes, but it gives us an idea of when the final bomb will be laid out. So coming back to the pricing. Well, even Kopite 7 Kimi, one of the most respected lakes in the tech scene, is suggesting that the recent prices are well fake. He states that he doesn't believe that the RTX 5090 price would see a significant increase over the RTX 4090, which had an MSRP of $1,599 US, though currently retails for around $1,800 plus and will soon be discontinued to make room for future models. We have also confirmed that most AIBs are currently trying to push as much RTX 40 inventory as possible, so we can expect a discounting spree in the coming holiday season, especially on the RTX 4080 Super and RTX 4070 Super cards. I wouldn't divulge into pricing rumors, but the last major price increase on an ultra-enthusiast card such as the 90 inches series was the RTX 3090, which was priced at $1,500 and the follow-up Thai variant was priced at $1,999. The RTX 4090 ended up 60 to 80% faster than the RTX 3090 Ti, but still the pricing over the previous 90 class GPU saw a $100 bump. We might see a similar bump, or we might just get the RTX 5090 at the same $1599 price point. Who knows? But rest assured, it's wise for gamers or those looking forward to the RTX 5090 graphics card to not put too much trust in the current pricing rumors and just wait for official confirmation. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.